Here we are, we're at 4457 Shadow Hills Boulevard South. I'm going to sweep the street here. It's a gated community, Shadow Hills. Uh, one residence has to be 55 or older. Uh, this house was sold by the original owner. Has a two-car garage there. Uh, this floor plan has a guest quarters, which is separate from the main house, which we'll go into first, which is basically like a studio room at the front, looking out towards the street. And it has a full walk-in closet, good size, bath vanity, and a bathroom uh, with a shower. So it's uh, fully contained out here. Take a quick sleep, sweep of the garage. Everything's neat into the house. That was the front door slamming behind me because of the little wind from the front there. You can see the, the view as you walk in to the left. Uh, there is a full laundry room with the washer and dryer. Uh, the front bedroom, which was used as a TV room, I believe, uh, has its own bathroom and a walk-in closet, a small walk-in closet here. Uh, it has a shower over a tub arrangement. The entry hall has a guest bath. A nice positioning. Going to our right, we come into the kitchen and breakfast eating area or informal eating area. Has a little built-in desk, uh, quite a bit of storage. Double steel sink here, uh, dishwasher, compactor, warming oven, gas cooktop, uh, ovens, microwave, sub-zero refrigerator, side by side, going into the dining room, uh, which has full on ocean views, and right off the living room, which I'll sweep here. Uh, has a corner fireplace here, and very high ceilings. We'll go out onto the deck just so I can sweep the views. All this open area behind us belongs to the association and is taken care of by the association and most likely will never be built on due to the uh, not only the association doesn't want it built on but the county doesn't want it built on either. So back into the house. Go to the east side of the house. Uh, this is master bedroom, which would probably be the main master bedroom, has its own corner fireplace. Again, looks out at the ocean view. Has the largest of the bathrooms with a, a dual walk-in closets, his and hers. Uh, dual vanity sinks. Second closet is here, and a soaking tub with jets uh, and a full, pretty large shower. <coughs> Again, we have high ceilings in this room, 
Right, there's high ceilings throughout the upper floor of the house. And we're going to go to the lower level. Where we have a family room kind of in the center of the house. Um, this room's been used as an exercise room. Another room that could be a bedroom or an office. It doesn't have a closet, uh, but it does have built-in cabinetry to be an office. <coughs> we go to the other side. We have a, another closet for storage here off the living, I mean the family room, and into another room, which is a bedroom, which could also be a, a third master bedroom because it has its own bathroom off of it. And again, it has dual closets. And the bathroom with a quite a large shower that spans the width of the bathroom here. And we'll take a quick look out the back patio. the view again and we'll take a shot of the rear of the house from here and that's it for 4457 Shadow Hills